Hooks up nice in the all-wheel drive mode. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Buick Encore GX Essence. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with this Encore. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get straight into the video. So under the hood, we have a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 26 around town and then 29 on the highway with power outputs being 155 horsepower and then 174 pound feet of torque. So first off, this is finished in Sunset Glow Metallic, which looks absolutely amazing. You guys know I'm always a fan of these crazy colors. So it's kind of like a copper orange is the best way to describe it. You can see that you've got that gold metallic flake and the paint looks just incredible. Now coming down below, we've got these LED lights with the projector bulb. Notice we got the fog light down there as well. And then notice that the grill is kind of like a mix, right? You've got the black down the center portion of the grill, but then you've got the chrome accenting on certain parts of the Encore got the signature Buick logo and then same thing here at the bottom except this has more of like a brushed appearance and other than that that's the front end around the side here we've got two 25 millimeter tires wrapped on 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well and if we take a closer look at the wheel itself you can see it's got a pretty cool design here with the lighter and darker elements and we've got those little tiny uh, brake rotors right there because I mean it's not a crazy large SUV so I guess we'll call the brake rotors cute on this but anyways the thing I really like is notice the plastic moldings all connected goes all along the side so it kind of gives it that protected like off-roader type look and then if you look at the mirrors they're actually two-tone because you've got the body color at the top and then you get the darker coloration just down below chrome there in the center portion of the door handles and then notice that with the roof rails and around the window as well for more accenting and that's all for the side so here's our key fob we've got the buick logo on the front and then you've got a bunch of controls here to unlock and lock it and then also we have the remote start and by the way the lock is the buick logo which is pretty cool and then also we can open up the rear hatch which nice feature and boom. Now let's pop here into the rear cargo area. So notice we've got the cargo cover and then underneath store space is actually pretty good. Lifting that up, we've got the spare tire underneath that section right there. And other than that, that's all for the back. So see you. That orange. Now let's finish things up here in the rear. So notice that we actually have a pretty large spoiler here in the back for how small this SUV is. And then I love the styling there with the taillights. Again, the Buick logo, we've got our Encore GX all-wheel drive badge, parking sensors along the bottom portion. And then notice again with the chrome accenting, then we've got the brushed material kind of just down below that. And other than that, that's all for the rear. Now here's the door panel on the back. Notice we've got a nice soft touch with stitching that goes throughout. We've got the door handle right there, again, finished in chrome. And then we've got the seats here in the back. So nice leather with the perforated leather and I'll pop in here. So legroom, a little bit on the tight side. Headroom on the other hand is good. And then notice we have this little charging area is what we'll call it for the back passengers. And then we do have the armrest with a couple of cup holders and let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, we've got that leather right here with the stitching goes throughout all of our regular window controls, mirror controls. This has memory seats. You've got this for the rear hatch to kind of basically change where it exactly opens and closes, which is a nice feature. Buick plaque. And then here's the front seat again, nice leather with a perforated leather all throughout the center. You've got your power adjustments there on the side. Here's what the pedals look like. We've got that for the hood latch release. The light controls are right over here. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's where we'll look before we pop in. So here's our steering wheel. We've got nice leather all around the steering wheel with the contrasted stitching in the center portion. Got some controls here for the center stack and then voice command, phone controls, heated steering wheel button. And then we've got our cruise control with the follow function change right there. And then notice we've got the turn signal stock. We've got the windshield wiper stock. Radio controls are also on the back of the steering wheel via rocker panels and that's all. Now here's the center gauge cluster. Sorry about the glare, but notice we've got analog gauges on either side and then you've got that screen there in the center which you can scroll through a couple of different menus similar to what you guys have seen in my GMC reviews and then my Chevy reviews as well. And then notice it shows you if you're in two-wheel drive or if you're in four-wheel drive right there, all-wheel drive. So we can press the all-wheel drive button and then notice that it'll put us in all-wheel drive, press it again, and then it'll put us back into two-wheel drive. So we've got the center infotainment system right here and well, 
it's in demo mode like it says but anyways now so we've got apple carplay android auto response time on the infotainment system is great and we have a really cool camera system that comes with this so we've got viewpoints pretty much everywhere with the encore really good from a camera system perspective i mean it's a really small suv so it's kind of like camera overkill but it's cool that it has it so it's gonna make parking this a whole lot easier now aside from that yep yeah, infotainment system's great analog controls are just down below it and i feel like it's really nicely integrated into the dash and also the hazard light buttons are kind of right off to the side which is kind of interesting so we've got dual zone climate controls heated seats here at the front charging area and some storage here in the front we've got our stability control lane departure, all wheel drive, and then the auto stop start, couple cup holders. Got that shifter right here, and then there is uh, low range as well, which it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. Parking brake, more cup holder, storage space action, well, more storage space than cup holder. And then we've got the center console here, which is seemingly small, but you can open that up and then it goes down pretty deep actually. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, aside from that, pretty normal with the material use, and then notice that's also on the dash, and then on the upper part of the dash, and then this trim right here is pretty cool looking. There's the glove box, and then I guess we'll finish things up here at the top, so we just have a traditional mirror, uh, and then you guys can see the whole headliner situation up here, and that's all. There is a ton of glare, so you guys probably can't see anything, but anyways, this 2022 Encore GX Essence with all the options it has, stickers for $34,820, and wait for it let's take it out and see how it drives talk about visibility before we set off here in the encore you guys can see visibility of the hood and also the heads up display and has that cool thing where it flips up when you turn the encore on there's through both of your mirrors and then the rest of the rear and let's set off. Setting off here in the Encore GX. And first off, I wanna talk about seat comfort before we officially set off on the road. And it's actually really good. So the bolsters are a little bit on the wider side, I would say. And so if you're a larger person, you'll be able to fit in these seats very comfortably. Uh, they're nice and supportive, but then they are also soft enough uh, that they're just really comfortable seats overall. So I think Buick did a good job with that. Now, starting off onto the road, and by the way, we are in the two wheel drive mode. So it is front wheel drive, if you were wondering. It does a good job. We're gonna throw it into the all wheel drive mode and see how it kind of feels different. Cause I did feel just a little bit of torque steer already with that uh, two wheel drive mode. Hooks up nice in the all wheel drive mode. Yeah, so I've heard a lot of people complaining that Chevy's using these three cylinders, but I will say it just, it gets up and it scoots. Like it, it is peppy. And I mean, other than, you know, looking under the hood and seeing that the engine's tiny, you don't notice that this is a three cylinder. It's got a good amount of power, especially for how small the Encore is. It's, it's more than enough uh, for this. Yeah, I like how this drives. Yeah, you do feel a little bit of uh, torque steer when you have it in the two wheel drive mode. So just kind of understand that if you wanna get rid of that, right, go into the all wheel drive mode, but you are going to get a little bit less uh, fuel economy in that all wheel drive mode. So it's kind of like a give and take. Yeah, but it's good. Like I, I, this engine's really good and it doesn't sound bad either. I mean, it sounds super similar to like a four cylinder. So it's like, you don't really lose anything. And that'll get me to selling things up here with the Encore. So first off, ride quality with it, you know, over that little short drive, great. Really smooth, actually. Uh, feels like a smaller sized SUV. Like there's no hiding that. So you don't get that like nice, like boat smoothness you get with the bigger SUV, but it's still very smooth from a ride quality perspective. Uh, and then interior wise, I think the interior is really nice. All the touch points feel uh, nice. There are some plastic bits, but I mean, it's a $30,000 SUV, what do you expect? Uh, seats are really comfortable as well. Tech is great, the camera system's great. So safety is really good in this as well. And then from a driving perspective, acceleration's good. It's cool that it has all wheel drive and then you can toggle between the two. Most cars don't let you do that anymore. So the fact that this lets you do that, I think is awesome because then you can get better fuel economy or right, you can get the all wheel drive grip. So it's great with that. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a really good, you know, kind of like luxury, small size luxury SUV. And for 30 something thousand dollars, I think it's a really good value. And in this color, it pops. Now let's get something's up for our video on this 2022 Buick Encore GX Essence. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to National GMC for giving me some time with this Encore. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.